everyone, Dullistic here, and today I'm bringing you an unboxing and review of an LOL tween that I'm really excited about because I don't have any from this series yet, and it is Gracie Skates from Series 2. I got her the other day at the store on clearance. She was $10, which is such an amazing price for the tweens. I actually think the tweens are perfectly priced where they are. I think they're, what, like $20 a piece? And yeah, base, I mean, I got her 50% off. And yeah, here's her box. The gorgeous art on the back of all four of them. And it says, I'm in between, right where I want to be. And then it's got Gracie, Aya, Goldie, and Lexi. And then her little sister that I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any of their siblings because I don't, I don't really collect these. But I love the tweens and I love the OMGs. And then, oh my goodness, this artwork of her, she is so adorable. I actually didn't realize until I looked like this that she had pink in her hair. But yeah, because who knows, this could have just been a shading technique and not having actually been anything pink. Alright, let's get her out of the box, shall we? I've never unboxed these. I've never unboxed any tweens after series one, so I don't quite know how to get this packaging open, but we're going to find out together. I think I'm going to go in from the top. Oh, nice. Okay. It's simple so far. Cool. Okay. Oh, it all comes out in one piece. All right. And what's this? Seems like we have some sort of instructions. Oh, it's just for the stand and the hand. I already know how to do those. <laughs> and then the claw. And here she is, fresh out of the box, with nothing of her accessories on. I just kind of wanted to showcase what she had on already. And yeah, oh god, I love the tweens. They're so cute. And there's her stand. It is a pretty blue color to match all the blue accent pieces. And let's see what's in these bags. Okay. So, oop, slipped right out. Okay. So first up we have this, oh my goodness, this super cute little jacket, like a sweater jacket. Oh my goodness, it has a yellow background with white polka dots and then pink woven sleeves and then a pink little trim around Ooh, this is all the accessories okay so first up she has her pink glasses they do not have any lenses in them they are just circular and pink almost barbie pink she comes with a yellow squiggly comb, like all of the tweens. And then it has two triangular earrings that are blue and sort of translucent. And her last little accessory is a cute little pink transparent bracelet that I think is supposed to mimic chain. I'm not sure. Yes, it is supposed to mimic chain. And now our last bag. Ooh, okay. A cute little bag. I think it's supposed to be a messenger bag. Super cute. Dark pink and light pink checked. Let's get her dressed. While I'm getting her dressed, I just noticed her... <laughs> Some of her fingernail paint seems to have migrated. And I'm going to be taking her hands off to put the sweater on. And this is how you're supposed to do that. So take it at the wrist grip and pull the oh my goodness live on the air okay why is there yellow paint so far up her thing that's crazy and then when you're putting them back in i know they're really small try to like hold try to, like hold it firmly at with the peg and then just slide it in and it should go right in the tweens are some of the easiest hands to put back on the body all right, so here she is all dressed with all her accessories. I'm going to be honest, it does kind of feel like there's a little too much going on, 
but let's go over her. Starting with her hair, she has split dye hair with black on the left and a platinum, like Targaryen blonde on the white with some pink rooted in. And then when you go to the back, you see it switches and they're still pink. And it is pulled up into these adorable little afro puffs that they got to be like, they also got to be split dye. Like, this is really great hair work. <laughs> and then she has these little barrettes in with little cubes and blue beads. And then she has these poodle bangs that are also split dye to match with the hair right here, to match with the hair right here. I'm going to take her glasses up. I'm going to move her glasses up so we can see her face. So, oh my goodness, there's one rogue curl. <laughs> so as you can see, she does have some baby hairs. I don't think they put them here because they were doing the bangs. But you can see her really cool, like, 80s makeup. The pink and yellow eyeshadow, of course, black eyeliner. And she has indigo eyes. And these very nice rosy pink lips. All right, and then her earrings, her choker, and down to her outfit. So she has on this sweater that we just put on but underneath she has a pair of overalls with two different sides the pink and white check on one and the acid wash denim on the other and as you can see they even flipped it right here this is so cool like this whole the flipping the split dye and like the half thing i love it and then underneath her overalls she has on this cute little shirt that has a very 80s slash lol vibe it is a cyan-ish color or like a deep teal with yellow buttons and pink squiggles and then she has pink sleeves. Now I will be honest this little sweater being on her these sleeves are like it's just it's too big. <laughs> it doesn't fit on her very well. Down to her feet she has on roller skates and they are super adorable. They are pink with blue detailing and a silver base with blue wheels and a pink stopper. Very cute. And she does not have socks on underneath. But yeah, there she is. That's Gracie. I'm gonna put her on her stand. Huh. I may need to use the bigger clip. All right, and there she is on her stand. I was right. I used the bigger clip. It's working a little bit better with the sweater on. And we'll take a look at her little composition book. It says Gracie Skates. It is a typical composition book background with pink and yellow squares and pink squiggles. And then inside is a shot of her and that's her this and that. Which I'll let you read for yourself. <laughs> and then it says LL OMG Tweens on the back. And that's pretty much Gracie. All of the unboxing part anyway. Now, as for the review part, <laughs> I'm going to take her off the stand so I can just kind of hold her. I do feel like there is a little too much going on. Um, I think I'm going to take these off. Okay, yeah, that's already working a lot better for me. Honestly, the glasses are kind of a lot as well, but I don't know. I think I may take the sweater off. I'm not sure. I'm going to play around with her and see what makes me happy, which is honestly rare for the tweens because I feel like I haven't had to do that with the with series one. I haven't had to like take things off for it to be like really satisfactory, but I'm so happy with her. She is so in her. I love her color scheme. I love the 80s aesthetic she's kind of going for, the roller the roller skating, her hair that is the most adorable. Oh my goodness. We do not get enough Afro puffs, like, ever. <laughs> and these fun little poodle bangs with the one little rogue curl that wants to get me. But I am super happy with her. And for $10, you really can't beat it. Like, they're already priced so well that if you can get them on sale, like, get them. They're great. And... I'm gonna be honest, I think the face that they have, it's, you know, it's the typical LOL face that's on the OMGs, the tweens, and the tots, but I think it, I think it applies best to these girls, and boy, because there's, um, an Alice-inspired one coming, but I think it works best for the tweens. I think the face sculpt, everything about them, it just works well for, you know, like, a little middle schooler. Another middle schooler I just did a review for. <laughs> it's honestly crazy that, like, canonically they're both supposed to be in middle school, I'm sure. But Poppy is so much bigger than her. <laughs> anyway, let me take Poppy out. I am super happy to have her and I hope to find the other Series 2 girls and put them in my collection. Because I think Series 2 is just gorge. I'm not super big a fan of Lexi, 
but I really want Goldie and Aya. And this has been Gracie. I, the quality control on the paint here needs to be addressed because like none of her nails are mispainted, but there is for some reason paint on the hand and the peg, which do they paint the nails before they put them in the bodies? They must. I don't know. It's just very strange. And it's not on the other hand over here. Although she does have misprinted fingernails on some of them. Oh, and she has the typical articulation of a tween. I guess I didn't show that. She's got shoulders, elbows, wrist, and then the like single click knees that are kind of pointless. <laughs> oh my. But yeah, that's Gracie. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what is your favorite piece that she is wearing because I think it's her overalls. I think that's the best part. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.